How's it going? I'm Cosmo James, and it seems like this is the comeback episode. Yeah, we got the first look of the Monsters reboot. It's shocking. Just wait. Just you wait. Ghostbusters is getting a new cartoon series, and the big news is that Berserk is coming back. Yes, it's coming back. It's crazy. It is, it is mind-blowing. But before we start, if it's your first time here, like, subscribe, and comment. It will be much appreciated. I make videos every single day, except on the weekends, unless I feel like making one. The weekends are my days off. Come on now. But yes, let's get on with the show. Before I begin, happy anniversary, Ghostbusters. Today, on this day, 38 years ago, the first Ghostbusters movie came out in theaters. Yep, crazy. 38 years ago. Almost 40. Huh. I'm going to be rewatching it for sure tonight. And also the other movies. With that said, we got some big news. And the news is Netflix is developing a new Ghostbusters animated series produced by Jason Reitman and Kel Ginnon. The two people that worked on Afterlife. And I think we're in good hands. After the countless uh, bastardized versions of so many IPs, beloved IPs, like Halo, Marvel, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, uh, The Last of Us. Uh, okay, I'm making myself depressed now. It's nice to see that some IPs are getting the love they deserve. We don't know much about this yet. We don't know who's going to be working on it, but it is Ghost Corp overseeing it, so we're we're in good hands. I want to say we are in good hands. Okay, let's play a game. What's the first thing that pops into your head when I say Rob Zombie is remaking, rebooting the monsters? It's probably Halloween 1 and 2, the remakes. God, those were horrible. And his movies. I'm just not a big fan of his movies. Ugh, I'm okay with his music. Yeah, but yes, it doesn't sound very good. And that's what I thought too when I first heard about it. And uh, yeah, it was going to probably be just really bad. They dropped the first teaser trailer because it's not really that long. It's about a, almost a minute showing off the characters. And I don't hate it. Yes, I don't hate it. It's actually... It seems true to the original series. I'm I'm shocked because, like I said, you hear Rob Zombie and you think he's just going to go balls to the wall crazy and very edgy and gore and violence and dropping those F-bombs every two seconds. But no, it seems like he's, he's paying respect to the original series. And, well, you don't see that often anymore. You don't. Yes, this movie is coming out this year, and I'm intrigued. I am, I am intrigued. Okay, Rob Zombie, you won me over. Let's see what you got. Quick side note, it seems like Elvira is going to be in the Monsters reboot. Yes, she's going to be playing a different character, so that's going to be interesting. I don't think I've ever seen her without her makeup on, or, you know, get up. Huh, crazy. After the blow-up she had with fans on Twitter, uh, it's a bit shaky. Most people don't know about it, and you know what? Maybe that's the best. As long as she does a good job, I could look past it. Here's a team-up I never thought I'll see. Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock are doing a comedy show. Yes, they're going to be teaming up and doing a double feature, practically. All I have to say is they're going to need a lot of security. Yes, a lot of it for, uh, well, Will Smith and the whole escapade that happened to Dave Chappelle about a month ago with that crazy person trying to stab him. Uh, yeah, double up on that security for sure. The show is going to take place September 3rd, 2022, and tickets go up for sale on June 10th. You better hurry because I'm sure they're going to sell out really quickly. All the good seats, definitely. Todd Phillips has shown off the first look of the script of Joker Part Deuce. I know. I know. You don't want it. I don't want it. It doesn't need a sequel. But it's happening, so 
Please be good. Now for the big announcement. Berserk is coming back. I didn't think this was possible. No one thought this was possible. After the passing of Kentoro, the author, R.I.P., everyone thought this series was, lack of a better term, dead. The person taking over Berserk is none other than Kentoro's best friend, Koji Mori. I think I pronounced that right. I'm no good with names, so no disrespect. This statement, oh wow, I read it and uh, it, it got me a bit choked up. It's a, it's a tearjerker. Read it for yourself for sure. In this statement, Koji goes over how Kentoro told him about Berserk, some of the storylines, the beats, but not entirely everything. Yeah, that's the thing. They're still going in blind, but they have a rough idea what the story, the ending, pretty much, is going to be. But they still need to make it. They do have a lot of people working on this, and they want to pay respect. This is monumental and suicidal. I say suicidal because Koji and many other people working on this are taking over a series that will either make or break them. The statement goes on to say that Koji wants to keep the series as close as possible to how Kentoro wanted it to be. The thing is, he only knows a few key moments and the ending, so there will be some creative decisions going on. They want to keep it as close as possible. They want to show respect. They don't want to soil this man's legacy. It's a good day for anime and manga readers. It is a very good day. I hope it goes well. And there's also more good news. You're not going to be waiting long because the newest chapter is going to be coming out soon. And it's not going to be one chapter. It's going to be multiple chapters. Yes. I don't know exactly when, but it should be sometime this summer. So... Get ready for some more Berserk. That's it. That's all the news for today. I'll be back tomorrow because there's always more news. Thank you for watching. And until next time, see ya.